بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. When poet says, يمشي الفقير وكل شيء ضده تراه مبغضا وليس بمذنب يرى العداوة ولا يرى أسبابها حتى أن الكلاب إذا رأت تازر ذا ثروة صدعت لديه وحركت أذنابها وإذا رأت يوما فقيرا غابرا نبحت عليه وقشرت أنيابها. He says the poor man walks. The poor man walks and the whole world is against him. You hate him. You hate him but he has not committed any crime. He sees all the distaste and the dislike and the enmity on the faces of those around him. And he cannot understand why. What wrong have I done? <coughs> to this extent that even the dog, even the dog when it sees a rich man, when it starts wagging its tail, and it stretches out its paws in front of the rich man. وَإِذَا رَأَتْ يَوْمًا فَقِيرًا غَابِرًا And one day when it sees the faqeer, the beggar, the poor man, with dust laden on his clothes, then نَبَحَتْ عَلَيْهِ The dog starts barking at him. وَقَشَرَتْ أَنْيَابَهَا And it grinds its teeth at him. This is the mentality of a dog. To judge on the basis of this temporary world is the mentality of animals. In whom illa tal anam. Allah says they are nothing but animals. This is why Mawlana Ashraf Ali Tanvi Rahmatullah used to say. That those who have not recognized Allah, who have not recognized Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who have no consciousness of qabr and akhirat and of the temporary life of this world, they are following behind the dogs. Every morning they have to take the dog out for a walk. The dog is in front, they are behind the dog, and Allah forgive us, we are behind them. They are following their dogs and we are following them. How can the reciter of La ilaha illallah when you have got sight rely on the blind person for guidance? When you have got sight, you have turned to the blind people to teach you about education, to teach you about technology, to teach you about the direction of your life. Greater foolishness than this, what is there? تذكر يوما كنت تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسري فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات 